Hey everybody, it's Aiden here once again and welcome to another tutorial video. Now, the other day I was playing NASCAR Racing 2003 and this is basically the video that I uploaded to YouTube. And as you can see, a lot of the textures don't look particularly good and in that video I was saying that I was only getting about 40 frames a second with about 13 cars on screen at any one time. But I found a way to really optimise NASCAR Racing 2003 for modern computers and in Windows 10. So what I thought I'd do is I'd show you how to get a really good looking game that runs super smooth and all that other good stuff. Now, just as a quick disclaimer, this works on my computer. I'm running a NVIDIA 1050 Ti. So what I have may not work on yours. And if you have a more powerful video card than me, then this should work. But again, results are not guaranteed and varies from system to system. So let's get on with it. And uh, I'll also show you how to get NASCAR to work in the first place before adding all the mods and stuff. So let's get on with it. So this tutorial effectively assumes that you've installed NASCAR Racing 2003 in some capacity on your computer. Now whether that's because you've got an original copy or you've downloaded it from somewhere on the internet, but there are plenty of places to download it. It is classed as abandonware, so it should be legal, I hope. But um, yeah, that bit you're going to have to do for yourself, because this tutorial is more on how to get it optimised rather than to actually find and download it. But like I say, quick Google search will turn up a result. So the first thing you need to do is once you've installed it to your computer, you need to go to this website, uh, shaggycentral.net, uh, which I'll leave a link for, and download this patch. That upgrades the, the game to the latest version, and also, as well as fixing physics and small bugs and things like that, also gives you the ability to use mods. Uh, completely optional, but if you want to use mods, then you, you've got no choice. So download and install that. The next thing you need to do is you need to go here, which again I will leave a link to, and download the Windows 7, 8, 10 no CD patch. Uh, because it just makes things easier. It stops you from losing your copy if you have an original copy. So make sure that you download the patch and install the patch before putting the no CD patch in because it won't work otherwise. Now, once we've done that, we need to edit some notepad files. So I'll get those up and talk you through it. Now, one thing I forgot to mention before we get into the whole editing of files and things like that is the actual mods that get put into the game. Now, I use Bullring mods because I think that they're the best quality ones out there and they have so many different ones to choose from. I've got the 2015 one up here because that's what I'm using anyway. So we'll just look at this right here. 2015 Bullring Generation 6 download, 100 megabytes zip main download. Now, you see main download and you've got a link uh, to a mirror in Europe, a link to a mirror in South America, but you've also got a link to CTS Physics. Now the way this works is when that patch that you've just installed uh, came out, it allowed the game to use certain physics types. So you have Cup Physics, CTS Physics, Transam Physics, and there's a fourth one that I can't remember what, what the name is. So Cup Physics is the standard NASCAR Racing 2003 physics set. CTS physics is the truck physics, and Can-Am is more for the IndyCar mods, the V8 Supercars mods, the you know sort of classic Trans-Am, Can-Am uh, mods as well. So if you just want the cars to be like they are normally, just download this top one. Now the, the difference between the two, it's not that much noticeable other than the fact that if you use CTS, the back end's a little bit more tail happy and you'll be going through corners at somewhere like Bristol or Martinsville or you know those short ovals about 20 miles an hour slower than you would normally. And it was also CTS physics that I was using in the video that uh, opens this video and that's why I spun out. Uh, the tyres weren't knackered, I'd just gone in a bit too hot because it, the physics had been rigged in such a way that the back end was going to be tail happy whatever happened. So just download the, the top one there, the cup physics one and you'll still have access to the standard setups that come in the game so you won't have to change anything and everything works straight out of the box and because they're the same physics you don't need to change anything so there is that as well and all you do is you simply download then you go oh hello OBS go to where you um, installed your game which is here and then just copy it into series and there it is that's all you gotta do simples. 
So once you've done all that, what you need to do is go into your NASCAR Racing 2003 folder. So in my case, Data, D, Pyrus, and uh, NASCAR Racing 2003. Find this core file here and open with your text editor of choice. And then just scroll down to where it says file LRU cache and change that to 14,194,304. Go down slightly and you'll see max block size 524,288 and make sure that's the same size as the pool size. So just change that and this one should already be the same number. But if it isn't, just change it. Save and close once again. Next thing we need to do is go into players and then your player name in my case is Aidan Millward and then we just need to open up this player folder so like we did in the other CFG file we need to do the same to this player file now scroll down to the graphic options and we need to change the car detail to 2 we need to change the draw ahead distance and the draw behind distance to 100 we need to enable car mega shader at 1 enable shadow volumes at 1 we need to scroll down a tiny bit further and we need to put the render speed weight to 100 and the texture quality to 100. Going down a little bit further, opponent manager, we need to import textures with compression and we need to set that to zero and that will remove the rest of the compression on the textures. Save and close. Simple. Now what we need to do is we need to go into nvidia control panel and make sure that we can override some of the settings in the game so i've opened up nvidia control panel here and what you need to do is click on program settings just here and then select the program to customize which is nascar racing 2003 season in this case it may already open up right at the top so you just need to scroll down past all of this stuff and then past fallout to nascar racing 2003 and then just click add and then when the pop-up menu comes up cancel it off now, what we're going to do here is where you see all these things in bold, these are the settings I've changed. So what it's going to be doing, it's going to be overriding all the settings in NASCAR Racing 2003, and that will give us a bit of a boost because it is a little bit more efficient handing off these older games to, uh, to the video card rather than having the, uh, the game do it. So what I've done is I've changed the anisotropic filtering to 16x. Um, your video card might be able to go a bit higher, I'm not sure, but that's as high as mine will go. Anti-aliasing mode, we're going to be overriding the application setting, and then the anti-aliasing setting will be eight times. Anti-aliasing transparency, well it's on super sample, that's as high as mine will go. Again, yours might be able to go higher. Maximum pre-render frames, one. Texture filtering, off. Texture filtering negative LOD bias clamp, texture filtering quality quality, texture filtering trilinear optimization on, and vertical sync on. If you've made any changes, hit apply, and that's it, you're good to go. Although, one quick thing before you fire up the game go to um, where is it? You go to properties, and then go to compatibility and run in Windows XP Service Pack 3. For whatever reason, that will also give you a bit of a frame rate boost. So, when you open it up, you'll be able to see how much better the game looks. So let's go and see. So as you can see, the graphics have massively improved. I'm now running the entire field at a stable sort of 70, 80 frames a second, uh, as opposed to running 50 to 20 cars at around 40 on the same track that you saw at the beginning. So hopefully this has helped you. Of course, mileage may vary depending on how good your graphics card is, but Hope you enjoyed it nonetheless, and remember to like and subscribe. I've been Aiden Lord, I'll see you all again very soon. Goodbye. Outside, pit road is closed. Still there. Clear. Car inside. Still there. Clear. Okay, we're under caution. Catch up to the end of the pacing line. Stay behind the 27.